All right, mate. Look at you, back for episode three. I haven't seen you since episode two. How are you doing? We have an interesting episode ahead of us because I've been reviewing the footage and uh, obviously there's always something that you miss, right? And uh, I think there's a lot of loot I may have missed in the first stage of the game. There's one thing in particular that I need to go back for. Um, and then just before we got to this place, there is extra little things that I noticed in Umbral that I didn't end up exploring because as you may have noticed in this game, you just think, oh, I'm just gonna have a little look up here. And it sends you on like an hour, two hour journey that you never come back from. So what I need to do is I need to backtrack a little bit, go pick up some tiny little things, and then we're gonna explore what awaits us down here and through there. What is catching my eye at the moment is these little lamps, actually. If I can, like, what is this? <laughs> Uh, okay, looks like I'm being led somewhere now. What the? I can see his name. Nekiet. Interesting. Now what happens? Uh, let me rip his soul out. Let's do some big damage. Guys, these are they're really quite scary. <laughs> swing, swing. Okay. Please die. Oh, we're still not dead. <sighs> nice. <clears throat> Plucked eyeball. Vengeance of fallen. Avenged a fallen lamp bearer. So it actually looks like this lamp that was on the floor was one of you guys playing the game who has died and that was the enemy that killed you. So now I can avenge you. So I just killed that guy and avenged whatever the guy's name was. So you're welcome. That's pretty cool. I like that. Right. Let's get on with it. Yes. This is roughly where I need to be. Feels like ages since we've been here. I am noticing my stamina draining, so I'm gonna that's gonna be a focus of mine to um, spend some souls on that soon. I'm just gonna skip all this to be honest. So there's two things in this area that I remember looking at and never pursuing. So let's have a look. So I'm used to Elden Ring in a sense that it's an open world exploration. So I'm in this sort of habit of, you know, following a path um, that could lead me anywhere. And I don't want to go, I don't want to stray off the path too much because I never know where it's going to take me. What I need to sort of realize in this game is it's not an open world exploration. The, the little extra paths that I'm going to go on are going to be very short-lived and I'm, I'm not going to stray too far from the original path. So I need to realise that and I need to start being okay with exploring more, like not worrying about it. So I haven't explored this area so let's see what we can find. Umbral Eye of Betrayed Iliad. What's that? One Soul Flare Charge, 15% Dread Resistance. A secondary socket effect, 25% healing efficiency whilst in the Umbral. Oh, it's it's a, it's an eyeball that I can socket into my lap. Perfect. Right, Molhu is the guy I actually need to go and see. So, let's rest here. We need to go to Molhu, which is... In fact, 
just very quickly. I think there's some loot here that I missed. Yeah, there is. Give me this, please. Oh, it's a ring. A mine owner's ring. We need another ring. An old tarnished ring. Increased maximum stamina and stamina regeneration rate. That is great. That's actually, that's exactly what we need. Perfect. Oh. Okay, good. Good, good, good. Right, we got two really good items there. Corrupted Pilgrim Cape. Let's have a look at this Pilgrim gear. I've got a lot of gear that I just need to catch up with. Oh, shit, look at that, like a Grim Reaper. Oh, wow. Are they? Those spikes are sick. I'm rocking this for a while. I don't care about the stats. <laughs> this looks great. Sky rest. Upgrade my heels. Fellow sanctified vessel, may Aureus's divine radiance flow through me and into you. Our holy work continues, Lampbearer. So I've got four charges now with 35% HP Let recovery. Let Aureus's now will be done. Now we're going to go to Morhu, Morhul, whatever it's called. Hello, sir. Socket Umbral Eye. We have a socket now. Okay, so we gain one soul flare charge, 15% dread resistance. Dread is the build up of um, enemies in the Umbral. So we get to spend longer in Umbral before we have to get out, basically, which is really good. And a secondary effect is 25% healing efficiency whilst in Umbral, which is really, really good. To be honest, effectively means I heal more in Umbral than I do in Axiom, which is kind of nice to know. Got so many of these. I'm going to keep the spear, I'm going to keep the bow, I'm going to keep the crossbow. I can use light. <gasps> it's a radiant catalyst. I need that. I didn't even realize I had that. Ooh, they're like, um, they. They used to upgrade your weapons, but I haven't found an anvil or a smith yet, so I'll have to hold on to those. Okay, we're good. We are good. So there's just one more place that I want to explore that I missed. There's a ledge here that I can drop down on, and there's also a big skeleton in the sky that creates a path, which must lead to something. So I'm just going to explore a little bit more in this area and see what I can find. Fire! Nice. I'm loving this outfit. Right, we are in Umbral now, so... Make haste. This guy there. doing this because V and F are just really not keys N not good keys to use tactically it's probably going to get me killed many times <gasps> for fuck's sake I wasn't even sprinting 
This is what I mean, uh, I hate these key bindings. V and F is just not the way. I need to make sure I'm sprinting. Nice. Right, more parkour. Oh my god, that was close. Parkour. Yes. This is uh, taking me on a longer journey than I expected. Looks like it's coming to an end though. I feel like someone's going to sabotage me soon. I'm just going to get ranged from... oh, like here. These guys don't even attack you, I don't know. being this close to the edge at all. Right. There's gonna be someone behind here surely. Yep. Oh, oh shit. Okay, we're good. Hello sir. Kick. Slice. Nice. Always someone hiding. Always check the boxes, honestly. Lever here. Pull lever. Um. Oh, it's been lift. Anyone back here? <gasps> A bell staff again. I'm sick of seeing bell staffs. Oh, we got a lift. Where is this taking me? <gasps> Loot. Loot. My lamp is going off. Ah. Right, some loot here, and a lot of people have died from bow and arrow, so... <laughs> okay... Ice grip? What? What isn't... What are those things? So I picked one of them up before, and it was called Forsworn at the start, very start. So look, armor tinks. Forsworn, ice grip. How do I use it though? Allows you to change the colour of your armour. That's great, but how? How? Where? Okay, what's down here? <gasps> I can see more loot. This is taking me on a little adventure, this is. It just keeps going. Oh. <gasps> this is the sky rest, um... This is the yeah. We've we've managed to get here without the key. That's pretty good. 
Can't go that way. Watch this bridge fall or something stupid. There's something here. Um, is that a shrine? Yeah, it is. Okay, let's go into the umbral. Divine a dear, witness this offering I make to you. Hang on. Did she cut her hand off? It looks like she's got four hands anyway. Look, she's got two arms. What the... Not really much of a sacrifice if you cut one of your four hands off, is it? <laughs> okay. I'm just wondering, because I saw a priest earlier with um, one hand. Wow, this is getting... Uh... Yeah, I saw a priest earlier with one hand, and she had her other hand around her neck, like a necklace. <coughs> what is this? How do I get through here? What's the point in the bridge if I can't get through? There must be... There must be a way to get through. What am I missing? Unless it's you come from that way and this is the bridge across. No, I think I'm missing something here. What am I missing? Do I dare? Haha! <laughs> nice. Oh shit. Um, I don't want to be on that side. I want this loot. Faithful bludgeon. Haha! That sounds like a weapon for me. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Uh, let's have a look at this bludgeon. 28 strength. A grand hammer. It's a grand hammer. Our first grand weapon. Let's wear it. I can't obviously um, use it. Oh, look at that. Boost. Oof. Let's see what the special does. One, two. Nice. Not really a fan of grand hammers. But... Um, when I get 28 strength, we'll be able to use that. See what it's like. That'd be cool. Right, I don't think there's anything else here. Let's keep going. Some stairs up. There's a ladder here. Hello? <gasps> Ugh. What the fuck are you? Uh oh. Uh oh. This could be bad. Oh, yeah, this is bad. This is definitely bad. And. I'm dead. Right. Hopefully, I can do it from here. I don't think we use alt for anything, do we? Alt could be sprint. Yes, I'm going to do that, actually. Settings. Key bindings. Um, sprint. Alt. And then jump can be X. I don't care about the cycling of targets. Oh, that's so much better. 
And then I can just move my finger down from D to X to jump. Yeah, that's way better. If you're struggling with the um, the V and F, like me, you might want to try Alt and X. Right, so I can't I can't get onto it from here, unfortunately. I'm gonna have to do it all again, aren't I? Well, I'll see you there. Right, I need to remember my new key bindings now. So much better. Holy shit, so much better. Yep. Oh my god, that was close. Nice. We are gaming now. That's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna swap these round. Because my... I want a two-hander sword. And this sword applies bleed damage. And I think... It's going to be more effective. Even though I'm going to do less damage, I think the bleed damage is going to do be more effective against things like bosses. So, let's give it a go. So. Ooh. Okay, i got some stuff to do here first. Sometimes I find it's helpful to use the lock-on, but then at other times I feel like it's good to not use it. <laughs> Do you know what? Instead of going up there and dying again, let's just see if... Oh god. Oh god. Never mind. <laughs> oh shit. You're coming over here, mate. Let's get my heels ready. I don't know what this guy's going to be capable of. Oh shit, there's two of them. Oh, dodge, dodge, dodge. On my head. Come on. No, 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 no. No fucking way. So, do we kill the butterflies or do we fight the Grim Reapers? That is the question. I think I'm going to go for the butterfly thingy. I might actually equip my proper gear because it is actually way better than the other shit that I've got, you know? So, we're going to be a bit sensible about this this time. are going to do... Oh, he's here, look. So he just comes to life. Can I kill him? Nope. Okay. Do we have any throwing weapons? Yes. Make sure it's on my heel. Oh, she's chunky. Let's just back off a sec. <laughs> oh shit. Oh, you just made it easy. Dodge, 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 dodge! Run away! Laying eggs right now. Dodge. Yeah. Nice. Large monostone cluster. That's definitely what I came here for. There was some loot up here. There it is. This is what I'm here for. 
a Crimson Rector Sword. I literally have two of those now. Nice. Uh, let's see. Crimson Rector Sword. And Crimson Rector Sword. One's thorned and one isn't. Okay. The thorned one is actually stronger as well. Nice. Cool. Let's hope it's enough to defeat the... Um... Is it stronger than this? Yes, it is. Decent. We've actually got an upgrade now. We have two weapons that are... And then what I'll do is I'll put the thorned one on my main hand. So if I'm two-handing it, I have the bleed effect. Right. Here he comes. He's gone underground. Here he comes. Only one of them this time, so. Oh, shit, 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 shit. That's near the edge. No! Oh my fucking god. tempted to do is just run as far as I can past them and see how far I can get. All this. Skyrus bridge key. I've literally just got the bridge key. That's what I need. Can I get out? See you later, bud. Oh, he's still... Is he still attacking me? <laughs> okay. I, um... Yeah, I got the key. <gasps> he's still attacking me! Oh my... No. Not like this. Not like this. Do you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to use... I have a recall thing. I haven't used it yet. I have 200 IQ, literally. Okay, I have the key now. I have the key. So that means... I can go back to Skyrest. And I can open the fucking door. Hallelujah. Oh, I can also go down here and get that loot. Gimme, give gimme, give gimme give my loot, loot, loot. Yes. This is it. This is what we've been waiting for. Crimson Rector Shield. That's a bit disappointing. I did not want to find a shield here. Oh well. At least we got the key. This is the this is where I died, right here. So is that it then? That's kind of the end of the exploration, right? So we've got the key, we've got the loot there, we've got the loot here. Um, now, there is one thing I know that I can use this key for. Right down here. I didn't notice that before, actually. Oh, it's a drawbridge, that. Okay. Let's see where this door takes us to. Yes. Okay. Oh. Oh. We're back in the hall. 
Ah. Uh, that was a bit of an anticlimax. Okay, nice. I feel like that's that was worth going back for, you see? It was definitely worth going back uh, and exploring these places that I, I missed. So I got myself a lamp upgrade, I got myself a ring upgrade, which we desperately needed because I was starting to feel the effects of the stamina. And we got ourselves the sky rest key, which got us a brand new shield, opened a few shortcuts, and we got a new sword. So these are the same swords, but one is thorned and one isn't. So one does bleed damage and one doesn't. It'd be really good if I could get another thorned crimson sword then I'll be applying a lot of bleed damage. Haven't really seen the effects of bleed yet. In Elden Ring, once the bar sort of filled up on the bleed effect, they hemorrhaged for like huge damage and it was really overpowered. In this game, I haven't seen it yet. So there's just one more thing that I want to explore in this area and it's this. And it looks like a really short, uh, little adventure with some loot at the end. So that's what we're going to do now and then hopefully we're going to be done with this area and we can actually progress somewhere we haven't been before. Right. Kill this ugly bitch. Something's behind me. Oh, it's only a little thing. Okay, one more hit, one more hit, good. Die! Nice, good. A vestige seat, nice. Right, what has all this been worth? He's gonna... he's gonna hit me. Nice. A pale eye shield? That does actually look quite intriguing. A pale eye shield? What? What is this? An ancient shield of unknown origin. Whether it was some primitive human ancestor or different being entirely who pain painted the symbols which adorn the shield is debatable. Although it is a certainty that Umbral was already extant long before mankind ever set foot on Axiom. Cool. Not going to use it, but I think we are now ready to progress. So let's warp to the bell room. See what's going on over here. Okay, well I can already see that we can go down here, which is kind of good. Um, doesn't really look like there's anything down there. Maybe it's more of a case of going up there. Oh, let's have a look over here first. back outside. I'm getting fairly close to that beacon now.
telling you what, these key bindings are great. I feel like I can actually sprint during combat now. Which is going to come in handy for some boss fights, I believe. Oh, howdy. Uh, shall we... Come on. Oh god. I actually do want to drag him off here if I can. Oh god. Oh, I'm actually dead as well. Come on. See ya. Yes. <laughs> okay, there's a lot of stuff down there. Right, let's go. We're in Umbral now, so... No messing about. There's so much stuff. I do have a tactic here, but it's not working very well. I'm trying to lure her to the edge. This is spawning stuff. If I could target it, that'd be great. Revelations. Right, I need to get out of Umbral. This is, uh, this is too much. Ladder. There's another one spawned now. 
let's get out of here. Ain't nobody got time for that. Pouch. Right. Let's keep moving. Fight. Get onto there first. There's two of them. I'm trying to get them to fall off. Maybe up here. Oh, uh oh, I just fucking killed myself, didn't I? <laughs> I tried to jump, but it was never gonna. Oh, I'm shit. <gasps> oh! That was the plan all along. That's exactly what I wanted to do. See how clever I am. I've just revealed another path as well. Let me check this out real quick. <gasps> Ooh. This is only the second time I've seen one of these. The first one was just a tutorial one. Nice, okay. Um, right, let's follow this one. That's here. That was easy. Yoink. And then... Let's see if we can see the other one. Oh, there's one here. Nice. And the last one... Looks like it's underneath... The platform that was stood on, so let's go down here. And then. Let's here, look. Nice, 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 nice. Got for me a book of sin that looks interesting. I need to remember to check that out. Ah, here's another one. Was that all three of them? I think. I think that could be it. Looks like it's open. Oh, this guy's chunky. Not usually that chunky. Nice. We're going in. Nice. 
I haven't upgraded my character in a while, you know. Let's get some strength levels going. Um. <gasps> Is this where we are able to upgrade our weapons? Maybe? What the? Oh shit. Yeah! Oh my god. Bloody three of them. That dog sounds very fearsome. I'm wondering if it's his pet. Are you going to attack each other? Or. There's another one over there, too. Let's see if I can range this one. <laughs> Whichever way I do this, I'm kind of. Forked. So Reach, isn't it? Uh, yes. Prison cell key. Looks like we're about to uh, unlock ourselves a, a smith. Ooh. Defiance ring. Cool. So this actually reduces all status effects. So this one's just blood, so I would say that that's a better upgrade, for sure. Nice. Let's go talk to the smith. Oh yeah, because I'm in Umbral as well. What? The fuck is that? <laughs> I don't really know if I want to open this cage. Damn sentinels! And say damn base! Mm. Man, bastards. Insult <laughs> to Gerlinda's skills. Waste of her time. I agree. I think she can work for me. So, you're not that key. Oh, yeah. Yeah, there we go. No one gets the better of Gerlinda for long. Finally, make a slave of Gerlinda. Ha! You made a slave of me. You don't count. Oh, his name's Sparky. Doing an old grower a kindness. Aren't you a credit to your species? Else? I hope that next time I go to Skyreach, she's gonna be there. I don't know what this lift is for. Oh, it's going up. Hang on. Is this gonna take me back to the, um,. The entrance. Yeah. Okay, sound. Well, at least I can rest. Whilst we've got this opportunity, we might as well nip back to Skyrest and just see if she's there. I can hear banging. Yes! I want to speak to Sparky. What the fuck are you? Okay. Ah, you again. 
Gelinda found herself a place to do a little business. She hasn't seen any other Grohok since arriving in this shithole kingdom. But, Grohok or human, sturdy armor and lethal weapons are a universal language. Yes, they are. Speaking of business, Gelinde has something you might be able to help with. She's looking for some items. This vining bag of bones left in Mornstead a long time ago. Galinda is undeserving of what she seeks, traveler. And self-centered besides. You would do well not to aid her in. You know full well the agony Galinda can inflict on you as long as you wear those manacles, Sparky. My name is not... Silence! Annoying as he is, Sparky does possess certain very rare knowledge, which he refuses to share. But he carves this knowledge in crystal, and now Gerlinda wants those crystal tablets to help in her runes, Missy. So, if you find any in your travels, bring them to Gerlinda, and she'll do right by you. Okay, well, let's see if I've got some. And I would not to Galinda. I will not reveal the locations of the tablets to you, traveller. Even upon pain of death. Okay. <sighs> um, upgrade equipment. So my two main weapons right now are basically these two swords. I'm going to upgrade these two. This one is technically a little bit better than this. Uh, but this has the bleed damage, which I think I need to keep a hold of. So I'm going to level both of these up equally. This and this one. I don't have any more runes. So they're both on over 200 attack power now, and this is on 170. So that's really good. Really, really good, actually. Okay, brilliant. We've added like an extra 30 damage onto both of our weapons. And I can't upgrade my swords anymore with the stones that I have. So I'm going to get a few more swords. I'm going to get 25 strength. That sounds like a plan. Ooh. Oh, here we go. This bowl of revelations that I've got. Ah, a key to shadowed holes of the past. Okay. Their delight's now yours to indulge in, bearer of the lamp. That's what we like. Offer Remembrance. What do I get for it, though? <gasps> Ooh. Oh, this is what the Umbral Scourings are for. I can buy a full armor set and everything. What's a sword? Radiance. Oh, that's very cool. What's this? Summon radiant duplicates to attack enemies. Nice. So I can literally, I can buy it. All of her armor and her spells. Now the question is, do I want to? And I think the answer is yes. <laughs> so, let's do it. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Helm and armor. And I'm now heavy, so... I'm going to take some stuff off, maybe. That looks pretty sick. Great. I do have a weight issue now, though. I'm afraid to say. <laughs> uh, it might be that I take off the helm. That works. So we take the helm off. We have the plate, body. Okay. So basically how this works is... If you're really light, your stamina should regenerate faster and you should be able to swing more, roll more, etc. If it's on medium, it's like a middle ground. It doesn't recharge just as fast, but you can recover and, you know, this is how I like to play in the medium. As soon as you go into heavy, you're going to be rolling slow. Your stamina is going to take ages to recover. Yes, you're going to take less damage, but if you can roll and dodge and kill stuff faster you're not going to take any damage anyway so the idea is to keep it either very light or medium you don't want to be heavy unless you're going for like full heavy armor and i think the way you can make this better is by getting your endurance up so eventually when my endurance hits like 20 25 30 i'll be able to wear a full uh, suit of plate armor and still be in medium and i'll still be able to roll around and swing my dick around effectively and do a lot of damage 
On with the show. Let's go back to where we were. Oh, here we go. This is how we recolor armor. Ooh. Gold and red. Black and gold. Silver. Cool. That's really cool, actually. I can recolor all my stuff. Fuck it, let's go with black. Let's go with black. Still got a little bit of blood on it. It looks kind of good. Rightio. Let's crack on. Let's stitch the other sword and just stick to this one. Then we've got the full use of the helmet and we're still medium rolling. Oof. That damage. I'm feeling very good about this. This is nice. Here we go. Oh, shit. Holy. Nope. These bloody dogs. Good, good. Alright. Slap it. Nope. Fuck. No, there's more dogs coming as well. I'm gonna need more stamina for this. Berries. <gasps> Shit. No. Okay, I'm going into Umbro. It's the dogs, man. It's the fucking dogs that are the problem. Dodge, dodge, dodge. My fucking god. Piss off. Yes! Please don't spawn any more dogs. Oh my fucking god. I just heard him. Oh. I'm gonna die. Okay, well, definitely time to take the armor off um, and bring out the, the, the other sword. <sighs> Dear. Okay, change of plan. Boom. Other sword. Nice. And we go back to these trousers, then we're medium. Let's go heal over time. Bleed salts. Berries. Put berries next. Bleed salt. Bleed salts here and bleed resistant bomb there. Okay, that was, that was very difficult. Uh, the dumb dogs are scary, man. They are scary. I feel like the the main boss, the archer, is going to hit me, um, but it's not actually that accurate with the bow when I'm fighting the dogs because I'm moving a lot and I'm rolling a lot for the dogs anyway. So what I'm going to try and do is I'm just going to kill the dogs and I'm not going to worry about the boss shooting me. The problem I think I'm gonna have is she just keeps spawning dogs. She doesn't stop spawning them. Obviously that is an issue. So it makes it very difficult. Very very difficult indeed. And the dogs have armor as well. Let's keep fighting the boss before we use any consumables.
Come on. No, 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 no. Nice. Oh, you bitch. God's sake! <laughs> Just spawned another dog. Got a halfway, a half health. Yeah, pretty tough, pretty damn tough. I think this time I'm going to take a berry, just so I've got that extra stamina. Um, and we're just going to try same tactic again. Could potentially use the lamp as well, but I don't think I'm going to have time to be honest. So I'm going to pop one of these and one of these at the start, and there's some loot there right at the start. Pop one of these. Go to my heel. Wait for it to fire. Oh my god. She don't want to fuck the dogs. I'm nearly dead just from that. <laughs> oh my god, there's three dogs now. Be humble. Please be humble. No! Kidding me? Can you chill out?
Fuck! What I'm going to do this time is I'm once once I kill the dogs and I have a little bit of time to attack the boss, I'm going to use the lamp on her. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to flare. Right, so the plan is berries, bleed salts. Yeah, okay, let's do it. So I want heal over time, I want berries, I want bleed salts on, bleed resistance balm, back to the heals. Can you imagine if I hadn't found a new keybind for sprint? I wouldn't be able to sprint in this fight, I would not be able to do it. Right, focus is the dogs now. Dodge! Yes. Oh, I didn't want to dodge into them! <laughs> oh my god. Come on, go, 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 go. Yes. Oh, the... Lamp. Nice, big damage. Come and lamp you again. Run. Heal over time. Salt. Get some more bleed on. Oh my god. Oh, that was a big hit, but I paid for it. Armor's off. Nice. Heal up. Nice. Good. Got a dagger out. Heal, heal, heal. <gasps> yes. Fuck you, dogs. Yes. Holy shit. That was annoying. Nice. Ooh, that's how you do it, boys. That's how you do it. I had to use a lot of consumables to get that done. That's probably the most challenging thing I've done so far. Um, can I want seed here? Yep. Nice. Holy shit. Uh, let's get some more endurance going on. That was really good. Third attempt, we managed to get that done. Not too bad at all, but very, very challenging that was, actually. So it looks like we're going this way.
further into the depths of despair. What's this? Poison resist. Oh, don't tell me this is going to be a poison area. Right, I think that's going to be the end of episode 3. Wow, I'm still kind of just relieved that I killed that boss. I thought I was going to be there a lot longer than I was. Uh, it was very, very challenging and very, very stressful. Uh, but that was really good. I kind of enjoyed that. I need to check what loot I got, so I'll be reviewing the footage. And if there's anything worth mentioning, it'll be in the next episode. I'm really happy with the progress this episode. We got a lamp upgrade, we got a new sword, we got new armor. We found out what the remembrance is for. We've explored like all of the start and sort of like the second area that we got to. I feel like we're not leaving any stone untouched, but as you know with these games, you always miss something. I mean, that's been evident from my last episodes. So uh, yeah, stay tuned guys. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe and I'll see you in episode four. Peace.